every time you want a new ship in this game, you run into the same issue. Especially as a new player, you don't have the skills for the ship, you don't have the skills for the guns. Support skills, tank skills, navigation skills. There are so many skills in this game. And a lot of players attempted to just buy themselves heavily priced skill injectors, costing them each time as much as going to McDonald's each time they buy one. But there is another option, which will allow you to still get a severe case of diabetes type 2 and to get to your dream ship faster. So hey guys, it's me, I for one. If you want to scale up to 25% faster for a rather low one-time ISK investment, until you die in some silly way with the implant set active, go ahead and watch this video as we deep dive into the world of skill implants and jump clothes. But playing alone in EVE is boring. So if you want to explore an old sec, take part in PvP and just be part of a great community, come and join our Discord and fight under the banner of our supreme leader, me. So come and join Suspect today, link is in the description. Anyway, on with the video. Skill implants are an easy way to permanently increase the amount of skill points you get as long as you use the jump clone. The important caveat here is you lose the implants if you die in the jump clone that has those implants installed. Avoiding that is actually very easy. All you need to do is have a jump clone you use. When you do anything where you can or might, lose your jump clone and a jump clone specifically for training. To get that additional jump clone, you will need the skill in form of psychology. Even as an alpha, you can get the skill to level 1, allowing you to have one additional jump clone. Having it higher, however, will not hurt as it allows you to have multiple implant sets as well as jump clones in multiple locations. But for now, one additional jump clone will suffice for what we want to do. Once you have the skill, all you need to do now is click on your character portrait in the top left, go to character, jump clones, and install a jump clone. Now you can freely switch between any jump clones by just hitting the jump button. As long as the clones are on the same station, no cooldown will happen. If you are not in the same station as the jump clone you are trying to jump to, you will get a 24 hour cooldown. But this also allows you to remotely travel between two stations, which is pretty cool. Alright, so with how to use jump clones out of the way, which is the basic know-how we need to properly use these implants, we now get to the actual implants themselves. Skilling speed in EVE is influenced by how high your respective character attributes are. There are five in total. Perception, Memory, Willpower, Intelligence and Charisma. Each skill category requires always two attributes with the primary one influencing skilling speed more than the secondary one. Each implant takes up one out of ten implant slots you have. They are sorted in your market window by slots under implants, attribute enhancers. You want to fill all five slots, each influencing one of your training attributes. But there are five levels of training implants. Those are the implants that merely give you bonuses to your attributes for training, not towards any other ship related stats. But they are cheaper than the other ones, which also in theory can be used as training implants and would make your ship stronger on top of that, but they are also kind of very expensive. The five levels for training implants are limited, better, basic, standard and improved. But the standard implant set at a rather not high cost of the shy of 130 million is for a total skill speed boost of 20%, which is also a permanent, is a really good choice, so I would suggest if you have the ISK to spend, get that one. And pretty cool, am I right? Anyway, once you have your implants, take a safe ship to move them or use your local hauling source or any hauling source to get them moved. If you don't want to move them yourself, if you do move them by hand, remember to use an interceptor if moving through low sec to survive smart bombs and for high sec and null sec a shuttle. Specifically to avoid warp to shop bubbles in null sec. To actually plug in the implants, all you do is you right click them and select plug in. Anyway, this is all from me. So what are you gonna do? Are you gonna get those implants? What kind of implants are you gonna get? Are you actually gonna use multiple jump clones? Or are you gonna be like me and just not use training implants at all because you keep for keep losing them? Anyway, that's all from me. See you guys next time.